Once again, it's Friday morning and garages are on view for our sale on the 17th of December. This will be the last sale of the year, but by no means the least sale of the year. We've got some very nice things in it. The sale on Monday was extremely buoyant, so we're expecting good things. It does include some of the unsold lots from our sale, our main winter fine art sale. So we've got things like this rather splendid Knox um, Jardinaire. This is lot 858 in at £700. And these catch my eye. These are rather good. These come down through our Tumbridge Wells office. Not 860, these are 19th century gondola lamps on the uh, painted and parcel gilt stands. They're in at a rather measly yeah, two to three hundred. I think we'll see quite a lot more for those, although only one of them's got the pennant. I think the other one is there. It's just a little loose. So we are the line of Venice. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on those. They're nice things. Now let's go and have a look and see what else we've got coming up. So if I say so myself, I think this room's looking rather good. From this rather nice ironstone dinner service on the refectory table, sort of running around, a mixture of antique and less antique. This rather groovy telescope here, lot 244, in at four to 600. Looks rather splendid on the sideboard, why not buy both? 853, the sideboard, <laughs> this sums up the market. The telescope's in at four to 600. Whether it's really going to be bought as a working example or whether it's going to be bought as a decorative item, who can say for sure? But it's Italian Sun's telescope of Islington, London. And uh, this, it's in at four to six hundred. The sideboard is in at sixty to eighty pounds. There we go. William the Fourth mahogany sideboard needs a little bit of TLC. A couple of splits I can see, but still, it's a funny old world when um, that's how the price differentials work. But there we are. So, flowing round the room, we still have our funky... Union Jack chair down there that no one wanted last week, hopefully they do this week. And a run of different furniture, some good decorative sort of open country pieces. Good selection of rugs again, both um, Caucasian, Persian and in the style of Persian. Uh, that rather splendid here bedroom suite over the back there, that is lot 796. In at 800 to 1,000 pounds, loads on it, you practically move in as a small house. There's sort of the press, the wardrobe, etc. So lots of that. Now, we're going to have a look at the smalls. And what have we got here? So, this catches my eye. Nice Louis Vuitton suitcase there, lot 248A, and it's 6 to 800. And uh, uh, we're going to wrestle with it now. Yeah, we've got the original label there. We can date them from the number, of course. And um, if your initials are JNP, it's even more perfect for you. Down the line, got some movie posters, antiques reference books, quite a run of those. Lots of metalware and bits and pieces, wines of course. Across the back here, we filled up the uh, collectible zone with a whole mixture of um, some rather nice Japanese ivories. Now, I think the act went through, or the bill went through the House of Commons this week. So they have done something other than Brexit. They've got moving on banning ivory. So um, it's going to go to the House of Lords in January, so we expect uh, the sale of all ivory to be banned by around about March, February, March, um, unless it's just 10% of a complete piece, so the keys on the piano would be okay. Um, so um, sell it now if you want to get rid of it, because um, I guess it's just worthless after that. So that's... Uh, that's all very serious, but there we go. We've got some jewellery. we just be busy again. We've got a selection of wristwatches in there. We've got some stylish bits and pieces. The George Jensen pieces I mentioned last week sold very well. And we've got some more this week. We've got the dolphin brooch and the deer brooch and what have you. So a nice little selection there and various other antique and new jewellery. So that's a good lot. And again, the silver. There's some good selection of silver in the cabinet there to, uh, to go through. Running down the line... There we go, that's made for Christmas lunch, the uh, Chateau Le Tour 75. There we go, we, our Rogers looked at that, he says it's worth about 150 pounds. It's in at 120 to 180, go well with the turkey perhaps. Elsewhere, fancy clock set there, it's showy isn't it Summer? We've got 113, what have we said on that? 160 to 240, it was a strange estimate, but um, it's sort of gilt metal rather than ormolu, so that will, that will hold the price down to some extent. Little people, glam molds and things like this, little mix lot there, £80, a lot of sort of Bezic type pieces and others I think mixed in with that. We've got some Lowry prints, these are the Chelsea Green editions of Lowry's. Um, obviously the, 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 the signed Lowry prints are making 
mega money at the moment, sort of one to two thousand pounds a time. These are a later edition, but they're what's called a gutelet, sort of posh colour print basically. And these are sort of two to three hundred each, so a couple of those in the sale. Then out the back. Paul's out the back. He likes the cold. He's, oh my God. he's doing his condition reports because people are all emailing in saying, what's this and why haven't you measured it properly and, and all sorts of interesting questions. Um, so we, we deal with those as ever. We like dealing with them because it means someone's interested in something, which is always good. That's fun. Also a Syrian Morris chair there, like 751. 100 to 150 estimate. Should we go around the back? We don't often go around the back for good reason. But there's a nice big Edwardian open bookcase, lots of it. Got 716 and at two to three hundred pounds. Can't be bad, can it? Or pretty little Victorian um, piano, sort of music stool there. A little bit tired, the upholstery, but um, it's only in at 50 pounds, so surely, surely worth that. Nice Christmas present for someone, perhaps. Otherwise, we've got the, the stuff I always harp on about mahogany chests of drawers and pine chests. This, this rope cut fun, isn't it, Summer? Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it sounds like a no yeah. to me. Well, anyway, I think it's Different. quite fine. And that is lot 793. We've said a Persian star rug, 40 to 60 pounds. That'd be a good value. Might need a bit of a clean, but still, you can buy some carpet cleaner with your change from a 50 pound note. Marvellous. <laughs> Elsewhere, quad speakers. These, these came in, and the lady found them in a storage unit that she did own. Don't worry, she didn't just break in or anything. And, um, Four of these quad L series speakers, an amp and a sub amp, and all sorts of stuff. Very expensive kit. Um, if the market will decide. Lots seven, seven, seven. You know, two to three hundred pounds. We will keep our eye on those. And that kind of sums things up. It's just a nice sort of mixed general sale, all sorts of bits and pieces. It's on view today. It's on view Saturday tomorrow till one o'clock. And we open the doors at eight o'clock Monday morning. Sale starts at ten. We'll see you then. Thank you.